Hey guys, Tycho here. Today I got a question about how I do my waveforms in my videos. A lot of people do this on their YouTube and it's all in After Effects. So I was going to show you guys how to do that. This is an example of what I'm going to show you how to do today. <laughs> So yeah, you guys get the point. You've seen it. That's why you're here. That's my track, Vitalize. It's on my channel. You know what it is. Oh, this is my artwork for Velociraptor. Isn't it dope? Well, anyways. So, open After Effects. Um, let's make a new comp composition. I just do 720. I mean, I really don't need more than that for my YouTube videos. I just... I don't know. So... What I'm going to do is I'll find a background file, import file, so now I'll just drag this into my composition. I got the uh, my album art and now what I'll do is I'll go layer new solid black solid works fine and then we're gonna go effect generate audio spectrum <clears throat> so now you can already see the waveform here I'm just gonna take it pull it to the edge you guys can get more precise on this later on and so now I'm gonna attach it to a song so I'll go file import file I'll just use my song rise okay so I'm gonna drag this down here bring it into the comp and then I'm going to click on my effect layer and audio layer to rise and so now we should see if we drag it along we get some movement which is good. First thing I'm going to do is change the color. It's pink right now. Don't know why. So let's go white. I'll stand out on the black. And now it's definitely not sticking out far enough, not cool enough. So I'm going to make them a bit thicker. Turn up the frequency bands. Now let's turn down them. We don't need that many. I'll turn up the height so they get bigger here. That's already looking better. I'll turn down the softness so they stick out more. That height's a little crazy. I'm going to turn it down. And so yeah, that's your basic waveform right there. This stuff is super easy. And there's a bunch of different things you can do, like here, you can go analog lines. It's like this line that kind of pops up. It's pretty neat. Digital dots. I just encourage you guys to play around with these settings and uh, figure out what you want. Now let me show you guys something really important. Um, so just back to digital. This is my favorite one. When you guys export it, you gotta go add to render queue. So the first, the most important thing you guys are gonna do when you're exporting is click on the output module. And it's gonna default to QuickTime. I use this one here, the H.264. One of my After Effects friends told me it's the bomb. I'm no After Effects whiz, I just do this for my videos. And then select audio output so you get um, out audio. And then format options. See, it will default to a low bit rate, which obviously you don't want if you're trying to show off your music on YouTube. So take that up to 320, and then you're good. So if you guys have any more questions, just ask me, and I'll be sure to make a part two. And uh, if you like my music, get it. Thanks.